Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins, and in this all new video, I'm going to be detailing the three steps to bouncing back after a blog break. So I understand as not just a blogger, but a content creator, you are religiously and consistently tapping on your laptop, your mobile, churning out content for your readers and your audience. And so they can count on you like clockwork to deliver the absolute best that you have to offer week in and week out. And then all of a sudden, silence, crickets. You've taken a break to refresh and recalibrate. I've done the same thing because I have religiously, over 52 weeks, no matter what was going on in my life, I released a weekly newsletter, Carla's Correspondence. You can subscribe to it at carlarjenkins.com forward slash mailing list. But sometime I took over a month off from a blog and my readers were scrambling, you know, I had people commenting, asking me about like the new blog articles, where you've been. And that's because like you, sometimes I've run through all of the backup um, blog posts, videos that you batch, you know, you always have a couple backup, you have some in your repository and now you don't have anything new to offer. And sometimes you take a break to recalibrate. You're like officially now in a place where you're out of content and you're off the grid. And although you're taking time for yourself because content creators need downtime because you're humans and we're humans too, you're now all of a sudden refreshed and you're ready to return. But what do you do when you have to bounce back after a blog break? And this is the thing, the conundrum a lot of content creators fall into. You don't want to come off as nonchalant like they're on your timetable, they're on your schedule because that's not what your blog break was really about. And you also just don't want to acknowledge it and just start posting again and acting as if nothing happened because there's a noticeable gap in the posting of new content. So it's very important that you have to address that. So back to what I was saying, what do you do? I'm very glad that you asked because I have a plan when I return from the blog break and it's worked very, very well for me because it happened to me. You know, I needed downtime and time to recalibrate. To, to recalibrate. I've addressed this on my blog, Carla R. Jenkins. These are my three steps to bounce back after having a blog break. First, explain to your readers, be upfront about your, your absence, your audience deserve it. And when you're honest, you're also setting the reader's expectations. And so I'm going to give a caveat because even though you can be upfront, you don't have to tell everything. So say if it was a death in the family, you had surgery or some type of health thing, don't, don't say that. Just say you're taking time, personal time to recalibrate and you just leave it at that. You don't have to divulge all of the information. After being upfront with your audience, give a, an immediate timetable about the frequency that you'll be posting. So in my situation, I kept the same schedule, but if you're returning and posting less than your readers deserve to know about the decrease in frequency also. The second step is consistency. Now that you've laid out a timetable, you have to stick to it. Being consistent right now that you return is the best thing. It lets readers know that you are truly, truly back. And when I took my break, I gave my explanation and I kept the consistency. I kept posting content. I admit it has taken a couple weeks for my numbers to return, my readers to return, but that's why the consistency is essential. I was extremely diligent about providing the, the blog, the video, the photography content. And so my readers saw my consistency post break and they've returned. My third step is quality. And it's people don't want crap. Yes, you return. Yes, you're posting consistent. But they don't want crap. They want very high quality content because they waited a long time for your return. And when you return, you better deliver. In my case, I, I made a decision to do more theme-related, more series-related content. But the biggest thing as a blogger and a content creator is at least deliver on the same level, if not higher quality content before because of your absence. 
And so just give them the best you have because your readers and your audience deserve it. So ex the recap, explaining your absence, step one, step two is consistently adhering to a timetable, and number three, delivering the same high quality content are the three steps towards bouncing back after a blog write. As I mentioned, you can sign up for my mailing list at carlrjenkins.com forward slash mailing list. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Carl R. Jenkins. Moreover, I have a YouTube page at carlrjenkins.com forward slash YouTube channel, all one word to subscribe there. And finally, if you would like to work with me, you can email me at info at carlrjenkins.com. And you can also go on my website, carlrjenkins.com forward slash contact and complete the contact page. So I would like to thank everyone for taking out the time to watch my video. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next live stream. Goodbye.